Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So let's get right into your reading, Virgo. So let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the month of March 2020. All right. All right, Virgos, you have here, um, you have the Knight of Wands as a current situation. So what they're telling me here is that you guys are currently experiencing a lot of movement, a lot of quick movement. Uh, for some of you guys, travel is going to be very important or you may already be traveling, um, expanding your horizon or seeing and being around new cultures, uh, new people, different types of people that perhaps you're not um, either very used to or perhaps it's not from your social uh, connection. Uh, so travel is very uh, prominent for you guys for this month. Now you do have here the Five of Cups. For some of you guys missing, um, missing or thinking uh, of a person that perhaps is at a distance as we do have the Two of Wands and the travel card here, uh, which indicates to me Perhaps a friendship or someone that you were emotionally invested in that is no longer in your, is no longer at a perhaps close proximity as it once was at some point. Um, we do have the four of swords here as well. So I see that for some of you guys, it could be like you're no longer communicating with them or perhaps they move to a different state, a different country. Um, so there is a, a missing, a, a feeling of not being complete. Now, what's on your mind is the seven of cups. Uh, this is signifying to me almost like when you have a friendship or a bond that you start having stronger feelings for them, but the feelings that they have towards you never change. So perhaps it could be like, uh, being interested or that you actually fell for a friend, um, for some of you guys, it could be dealing with the water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, but again, like I said, I feel that they're not they're not emotionally invested in you the way you are with them. You do have the Four of Cups here, uh, and it's facing the King of Cups. So it indicates to me a person that perhaps is not, um, is not feeling the same way you are, or they're not interested in you the way you're interested in them. What Spirit is telling you is that uh, perhaps the reason why you feel this connection or you felt this connection at some point had more to do with the fact that um, loneliness is what they're saying. So there was a feeling of loneliness. It could have been on their side. It could have been on your side. It's a general reading. Um, but what they're saying here is that there was a feeling of lack and this connection or this friendship started to build or started to grow and perhaps you even told them, perhaps you told them that you were interested in them, uh, or perhaps they kind of picked up on the fact that you were, you know, really interested in them, but they just don't feel that for you. They see you as a friend and that's, that's all. Uh, so I feel like there was some type of distance that is currently keeping you guys away. Uh, so again, I do see them like going out. Uh, or traveling or perhaps because of work there is like a some type of some type of like moving away um and i do see them missing the friendship as well but it's like they understand that they don't they don't want to keep you giving like they don't want to continue that bond or even texting because they don't want to continue leading you on type of energy um what they're telling you here is if there is no longer communication with this person, take it for what it is, Virgo, because I feel that the more you invest yourself in it, the more you're going to end up getting hurt. And I feel that genuinely them, they themselves are pulling away because they don't want to hurt you. So again, take that for what it is. And what they're telling you here is it's time for you to turn the page or it's time for you to move on. Um, Focus yourself and your energy towards uh, things that you're wanting to achieve, distracting yourself. 
for those of you Virgos out there that are still having difficulty when it comes to relationships, what they're telling you is use this time. Use this time to work on yourself, to find yourself, to in, like learn what you enjoy doing that perhaps you've never done before. That's going to open a new awareness of yourself. But at the same time, you're so consumed and focused in yourself and in loving yourself that that's when you invite true, genuine love into your life. And I think that this is something that's been reoccurring for some of you guys for quite a while now. And, and see what they're saying is when we feel lonely or when we're in search, literally putting that extra effort, like going on dating sites, uh, going to gatherings because you're intentionally going to meet someone. What they're saying is there is almost like a feeling of loneliness. And the moment someone starts to give you attention, even if it's coming from like a friend type of energy, it could come across to you as that maybe they're having the same feelings you're having. And it usually pushes us to end up in relationships that are very toxic or very bad for us only because we're putting out that energy, you know, that we really want someone. We really like we're in desperate need of being in a relationship. Um, so it's like you're putting out these signals of the same type of energy that is going to meet you or vibrate to your vibration um, and it could be a person the same that is feeling lonely and the moment that they realize that or the moment they realize like that there's no feelings there, they're quick to move on and they leave you hurt or they leave you feeling like what the hell just happened? Like I thought it was moving good. I thought it was going, I thought it was progressing. So what they're telling you here is use this time, uh, Virgo, to work on yourself and to heal your past wounds, things that... Uh, people perhaps have taken advantage of that as well. And it's almost like you often ask yourself or wonder why you are either taking for granted or why people are taking advantage of you. Or you're always feeling like you're always feeling you're always left feeling empty handed. And what they're telling you is when you understand your worth, when you un when you understand that you're valuable that not anyone should have access to your energy. The more reserved you are with that, and when you do in fact allow people to get close to you, they will meet, they will have to meet that vibration. And if they don't, those are the ones that quickly are the ones to run. And those are the ones you should not cling on to. Let them go. Uh, only then will you be able to find someone that is wanting or desiring the same thing you are and that is willing to commit or is willing to give you exactly what they're willing to um, to meet you halfway, basically. Let me pull out two more cards for you guys. Okay, so yeah, what they're saying is there's a lot of need for self-growth here, Virgo, especially um, for this month of March. It's going to be very important for you guys to work on your confidence, to really... There is a, a, a transformation that's happening with you guys. And again, like I said, I feel it's been happening for quite a while. But with the Queen of Wands, this is signifying to me uh, really putting your effort and your energy towards believing in yourself and being confident about yourself. For some of you guys, it could even be like transitioning, uh, changing your diet, starting to exercise, uh, being more self-aware of yourself. And I think that this is a beautiful thing because this is going to help you uh, boost that confidence and believe more in yourself. Okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading and we'll see each other soon. Talk to you guys then. Bye.